Welcome. Today's tutorial will be on some basic commands of the terminal. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do is open up a terminal window. So I'm going to go into Unity and search for Terminal, and I'm going to open up a window, and this will appear. Now, don't let this confuse you. This is simply just saying my username at the computer, whatever I named it, I'm not very creative, and I named it Linux, and I named my computer Ubuntu. <laughs> Anywho, um, if you wanted to print whatever d directory you're in, the working directory, pwd is the command, and now we are currently in slash home slash Linux. I'll show you the graphical version of this, and this is what it looks like. Got documents, downloads, a picture couple files. Now, if I want to list everything that's in that directory, I simply type ls. Now, everything that you see here is the same as here. It prints every file and folder within the directory. Now, let's say I wanted to change the directory I'm in. You can simply type cd and then wherever you want to go. I want to go to the desktop. So now I'm at desktop. If I type ls, there is nothing on my desktop right now so nothing appeared. Let's say I wanted to make a folder within my desktop. I'm going to type mkdir space the file name. I'm going to call it test. So right now you can see that there is a folder called test. Now let's say I didn't want that folder. I could type rmdir which will remove the folder called test it's no longer there. Now let's say I'm in the wrong directory so I want to go back up a level. I'm going to type cd space minus and now I am back in the home folder slash my username. So if I type ls it shows me everything that's in it. Now let's say I wanted to do some things with applications. First off you can type basically any name of application and it will run. Let's say I want to open Firefox. Bam, just type in Firefox. It's going to type some matrix looking stuff and it will open. Now if you open something it's not going to go back to this part until you close it because it's still running the um, code for it. Now let's say I wanted to install a program if I type Coblox right now, it's not currently installed, it's going to tell me that it isn't, obviously. Now, we're going to type in a simple command, sudo apt get install code blocks. Now, what this is saying is sudo, which is like the super user, or like admin, overriding everything within the system, despite of your user, and then apt get install code blocks going to ask you for a password for your user. Don't let the, the Linux confuse you. So right now, if I type code blocks, it'll run. It's a basic text editor. It's pretty awesome for programming. I like it for C and other things like that. Okay, now let's say I didn't want that program. I can type sudo apt get remove code blocks. It's going to ask me yes or no. I'm going to press Y for yes. It's going to do some stuff and now if I type code blocks not there anymore. The last command I'm going to tell you about is exit and that will simply close the screen. Thank you for watching.